One real big difference between Gutenberg and the classic editor is the ability to create multi-columns within a page or a post or a custom post type. Can't do that with the classic editor, and that's something that people have complained about for a real long time. So here's how it works. So I started a post here, and I'm just going to call it multiple cows because I just feel like it. And for this first block over here, well, right over here, I've already used the column block recently, so that's why I, I see it as an icon over here. But if I didn't see that, I would just head right over here to the inserter, and I would look for the columns icon. Here it is. And I could click on that, but if it weren't there or I couldn't find it after scrolling through all these different things over here, I could always just type in the name of the block, which is just called columns. And here it is. How nice is that? And what we get is a column block. Now, a column block gives you the ability to have blocks inside of a block. In this case, if I just click outside over here, you can see what I have is two paragraph blocks inside of the column block. And to find out what block I'm working with, I'm just going to click over here, block. Well, it doesn't say any block was chosen. Let's just do this. So we can see this a little better here. Nope, that's not what I want to show you. Here we go. So it says columns. That's what I want. And I could go up to as many as six blocks or six different blocks within the column block. But that doesn't look really good. So I'm just going to take it back to its default, which is two columns. And in this case, I get the two paragraph columns. So for the first one over here on the left side, I'm just going to paste in some text I already have on my clipboard. That's fine. And for this column to the right, I'm just going to put in an image. Now, I could put in a form. I could put in a video. I could put anything. I could put other text. But I'm choosing just to use a an image. And in this case, I'm going to click on the inserter. Come on, inserter. Click on the inserter. Here we go. And I would look for the image icon. Here it is. So I'm just going to click on the image icon. And I'm going to head right over to the media library. This will look really familiar. And this happens to be a nice picture of the train station in Whitefish, Montana. And so that's perfect. So you can see here's my left side text column and my right side image. Notice that the text does not wrap around the image, which is not what I want for this example. I want two distinct columns. If I want to preview it, here we go. So it's kind of long, but that's all right for our purpose over here. Now, one other thing I can do too, and that's because this is a paragraph block over here, I can change the color, which I'm going to do just because I feel like it. I'm just going to change the color over here, and you can see it much better. Again, I'm going to preview, and that's exactly what I want. So columns are a great addition to the WordPress content creating experience that we couldn't have and we didn't have with the classic editor.